Now here the question is, we need to solve this integral in which parameter is a, so we'll write f a equals this integral from 0 to infinite e to the power minus x upon x and then a minus 1 upon x plus 1 upon x into e to the power minus ax into dx. Now again, we'll differentiate this function with respect to a. We'll write f dash as this integral from 0 to infinite. And now we'll partially differentiate this function with respect to a. So it'll be e to the power minus x upon x derivative of a will be 1 derivative of 1 upon x is 0 then it will be 1 by x and here will be e to the power minus ax into minus x dx now here x and x will cancel so we will write f dash as this integral from 0 to infinite e to the power minus x upon x and then 1 minus e to the power minus ax dx. Still this integral is not in the solvable form. So what we'll do is we'll differentiate it once again. So we'll write f double dash a and it'll be equal to this integral from 0 to infinite. Again we'll partially differentiate it with respect to a. So it'll be e to the power minus x upon x and then minus e to the power minus ax into minus x dx. Now here x and x will cancel. So we'll write f double dash a as this integral from 0 to infinite e to the bar minus 1 plus a into x dx. Now if we integrate this function we'll get e to the bar minus 1 plus a x and then upon minus 1 plus a is integral from 0 to infinite. So we'll write f double dash a as now we put x as infinite it will be e to the power minus infinite and e to the power minus infinite will be 0 and then e to the power 0 will be 1. So this f double dash a will be 1 upon 1 plus a. Now before solving this differential equation we will find some initial values. If we put a as 0 we write f0 and here it will be minus 1 by x and e to the power 0 is 1 plus 1 by x. So it will cancel. So value of this integral will be 0. So when a is 0, value of this function is 0. Now we will also put a equal 0 in f dash a. So it will be f dash 0 and here it will be 1 minus e to the power 0 is 1. So it will be 1 minus 1 which again is 0. So from here we will say value of f dash 0 is also 0. So we have two initial conditions and they are when a is 0, f is 0 and when a is 0, f dash is also 0. Now we integrate this function with respect to a. So we will get f dash a equals log 1 plus a plus c and if a is 0, f dash is 0. So it will be 0 plus c that means value of c is 0. So we can write f dash a as log 1 plus a. Now we will integrate it again with respect to a. So we will write f a and here it will be this integral log 1 plus a da. Now what we will do is we will let 1 upon a as t. So it will be f a log t dt. Now integral of log t is t log t minus t and then plus c. So we will write f a as now t, t here is 1 plus a. So it will be 1 plus a log 1 plus a minus 1 plus a plus c. Now if a is 0, it will be log 1 0 and then minus 1 plus c, that is value of c is 1. And if we put c as 1, the c and minus 1 will cancel. In that case, 
value of this integral will be 1 plus a log 1 plus a minus a and that is the answer to this question.